भारत के महामहिम राष्ट्रपति श्रीमती द्रौपदी मुर्मू जी मिनिस्टर इन द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट तिरु सर्वानंद सोनोवाल जी मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट इन द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट तिरु श्रीपद नायक जी तमिलनाडु हरसुआ मैचर डॉक्टर के पुनमुड़ी और गले चांसलर तिरु बी शंकर जी वाइस चांसलर डॉक्टर मालिनी वी शंकर जी पब्लिक रिप्रेजेंटेटिव मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट मेंबर ऑफ स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर डिस्टिंग्विस्ट फैकल्टीज गेस्ट्स माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स ग्रेशियस लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन अनई वेरी ओम वनकम on behalf of the people of tamil nadu state and the tamil nadu government as well as indian maritime university i extend our warmest welcome and deepest sense of gratitude to our honorable president for visiting us and gracing this occasion with her presence madam president your visit brings new energy to us it, is, it inspires us to do our duties with renewed vigor and with a sense of purpose the students the graduates those who have received degree today in your presence for them it is going to be a moment which they will cherish for the whole life thank you thank you for all all this making it possible with your gracious presence my dear students the graduates first of all congratulations to you for your success the degree that you have achieved today is the result of your hard work your dedication and for this my heartiest congratulations to all of you on this day and all the days thereafter dear graduates remember to be grateful to your teachers those who made it possible for you to acquire their skill the knowledge and the training which has made you who you are today on this day i would also like to congratulate the proud parents under whose care you have achieved what you have achieved your success is a vindication of their trust in you they trusted in you and you have proved with your success that you are worthy of it remain grateful to them friends today you are fortunate you are fortunate because you are graduating at a time when you have unprecedented opportunities in your life and career in the last 10 years we know that with the blessings of the honorable president and under the leadership of visionary dynamic prime minister honorable prime minister modi the country has been experiencing an comprehensive overall resurgence in every field and we can see that in the maritime domain as well we know that from a country which was at the margin of world affairs we are at the center of it the world looks at us with expectation to find the solution to the global problems we know that while the world is struggling to come out of the recessionary like situation following covid india is the large is the fastest growing large economy in the world from the 10th to the 5th and shortly going to be the third our country is moving forward with a sense of destiny and with a determination to achieve their destiny and the destiny is that in next 24 years by 2047 india will be 
a fully developed, self-reliant country. A fully developed, self-reliant country for the good of the world, for the good of the humanity. And in this journey towards our destiny, maritime domain, maritime industry, and maritime economy have a very crucial role. It is booming, we have seen, the Honorable Minister has given some data. Very heartening music to our ears when we hear the kind of boom that is taking place in the maritime domain. We have to achieve much more. While we have gone to the moon, and we have also measuring the depth of the ocean with our, our scientists going down and creating sub, you know, deep sea ocean bed stations for research and exploration and capacity. The world is open to us. It's not only that we have over 3 million square kilometer of exclusive economic zone, but beyond that, the wide open sea. Maritime domain, maritime economy are essential for our strategic and economic well-being. And you, the graduating students, you have a major role to play. Each one of you graduating from this prestigious university, equipped with the knowledge and skill needed to take on the world with the confidence which perhaps your predecessor might not have had. In a situation where you have opportunities which your predecessors might not have had, they might envy it, what you have today. It is our moment. Yahi samay hai, sahi samay hai, Bharat ka anmol samay hai. Idu e neram, shariyan e neram, Bharat din punnan e neram. This is our golden opportunity. Make it possible. Each one of you graduating here, you are a national asset. Don't think yourself only in terms of your individual. You are an individual. Yes, you are, but you are a national asset. Think of it. Think big. Think large. Dream big. And try hard. Work hard to fulfill the dream. You cannot be bigger than your dreams. Be sure about it. So don't dream small. Today is the time when you can dream big and make it happen. And in the, pro in the pursuit of your dream, if you get a setback, don't have a sense of defeat. A failure is a failure only when you accept the defeat. The setback, try again. Failure is a part of learning. It is an education. We have all failed in our life. Life is not a journey of continuous success. But have the capacity, have the courage to try and experiment and grow. Fulfill your dream, the last dream that you have. Country is looking at you with expectation. In the next 24 years, by 2047, when the country would be celebrating the centenary of independence, I would like you all to keep one question in your mind and seek the answer on the day. What did you as an individual did for making the country self-reliant, fully developed? And that answer will give you the satisfaction of what you have done, a life fulfilled life, a life fulfilling towards the national cause. Friends, I wish you all the very best I wish you all the very best for your journey hereafter. Well, Edir Kalatiraka Manamaran the Nalwartagal. Apke Bhavisa Kelye, Ujual Bhavisa Kelye, Hardik Subkamanai, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. I invite the Honorable President of India, Srimati Draupadi Murmuji to deliver the convocation address. Governor of Tamil Nadu, RN Rabiji, Union Minister for Ports, Shipping and Waterways, Sri Sarvanand Sonwalji, 